James Kaufman, World News Report Today. JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, has just released information on the newly discovered near-Earth object or space rock, i.e. meteor, inbound for a very close pass between Earth and the Moon, hopefully on October 22nd. This is going to be 2025 U. E1 2025 UE1 and it looks like it is coming from under the planet there is a decent inclination this rock is supposed to be between 50 and 60 feet in diameter I haven't seen the condition code we'll see it together here and it looks like they're calling for the 22nd which would be right here for the very close approach. It looks like the 23rd might even be closer, personally. But I did read the 22nd, and we will take a look at that. It's going to be a very close approach. Uh, the rock is moving very quickly at 16 kilometers per second. So, uh, being 50 plus feet in diameter, with an inclination moving at 16 kilometers per second, there's a good chance that it would not burn up upon impact of the atmosphere uh, if it doesn't fly between Earth and the Moon as expected. Let's take a look at some more information. Taking a look at our orbit parameters over here, solution dates today, October 19th, Total observations, only 16 observations. Scary stuff. Data art spanned four days. Why only 16 observations in four days? I guess they just can't get a look at it based on where it's coming from. First seen on the 15th, they decided to come clean with it today with a condition code of 8. Terrible. Nine being the most uncertain as far as size and trajectory. Zero being they know exactly where it's going and how large it is. Well, I've never seen a condition code that high before. Eight is terrible. Usually even seven's not great. But eight? Wow. I'm surprised they released the information. And more surprised that they've only had 16 observations in a four-day period. Very strange. Let's take a look at their proposed close approach data. All right, this is all they've been able to extrapolate for four days. All these past flybys. And none of them seem very close. These two are fairly close here. It's going to fly by on the 22nd, late in the day, 2307 UTC time. They do have a large plus or minus here. I guess that has to do with the condition code. 23 minutes of doubt. I've not seen anything like that before. It's usually plus or minus one. So, uh, this looks like about, about 6.07, 6.30 central time here in the U.S., on the 22nd, close flyby of Earth, point zero zero one seven astronomical units. Now, it's going to actually fly closer, not by much, but closer to the moon the following day, or a few hours later, actually. Uh, it's moving here, it says, at 15.3 to 15.4 kilometers per second. I'm going to give you all a number based on that astronomical unit number as far as miles from Earth. It's going to be pretty far from Earth here. It looks like it's right in between Earth and the Moon, which would be over 100,000 miles. All right, doing the math, uh, you come up with about 130,000 miles you can take away the radius of Earth because that's measured from the center of Earth. That's about 4,000, just under 4,000 miles. You come up with about 125,000 miles 
from the planet. So that's a good thing. It's uh, going to be right in between the moon and Earth. And that's, again, supposed to happen on the 22nd. Of course, what bothers me is the condition code of 8. I can't even believe that they would release the information. Uh, but I guess it is uh, just around the corner here on October 22nd. October 22nd. And, well, I just wish they had a much, much better condition code than had been able to see this exactly one AU for Earth distance on the 23rd. Look at that, it's right on top of Earth, folks. It just doesn't get any closer. I hope they've got this right. No, it scares me when they throw condition code of eight on anything. That's 2025 UE1 inbound late on the 22nd into the 23rd, moving at just under 16 kilometers per second, and I think it's about 50 to 60 feet in diameter. None of those things could be true based on the condition code given to us. It is at a pretty decent inclination coming from below the ellip uh, elliptical plane, uh, and it looks like it'll cross the plane right as it goes by Earth. What luck. This might be why they're having such a hard time seeing it. So there you go, folks. Prepare October 22nd for this not-so-close approach. Uh, I wish the condition code was much, much lower on this. I feel much better about this. But right now we're looking at 125,000 miles away from the planet, so no real big deal. I only cover things that are closer than the moon uh, or that look like they may hit the moon. Anything further out, I don't cover, period. There's just too many rocks floating. Flying by, flying by, folks. With that said, God bless. Remember, that's going to be about 6 to 6.30 on the 22nd Central Time in the evening uh, into the 23rd, as you can see here. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in the bizarro world, especially with a condition code of eight. God bless.